Hey, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're an automotive technician, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that hopefully help you make more money and be more efficient. And if you're a customer of one of these technicians, you're gonna get an insight into what we do on a daily basis to fix your vehicle. So I hope you enjoy the next video. All right guys, today we're gonna to do a uh, walkthrough on flashing a blank TCM in a Nissan Xterra. And in this particular instance, the customer did not uh, get with me first and let me know that they had already sent the old TCM back, so we are gonna not be able to pull the calibration number off of the old one. So this process will include finding out what the calibration number should be. So the first thing you should do is make sure that your laptop set up in an ergonomic way to where it's plugged in with a power supply and out of your way and comfortable. Also make sure that the cables for the VCI are not in a way where you could kick them out if you have to be in the car. You want to unplug any and all electric fans that are in the system because they could come on randomly once the PCM is off the network. Then go ahead and make sure you got a good fully charged clean battery uh, with good connections to the clamps. Then hook up a, a good quality maintainer or something with a flash program setting. With Nissan, I used to use 13.4 or 13.5 volts. So to pull our calibration, we're going to go to parts.nissanusa.com. We're going to go ahead and uh, select parts right there. We're going to put in our VIN number for the vehicle we're working on. Then we're going to uh, scroll down here. You notice we're going to be working on the transmission, so we're going to click F for powertrain. We're going to scroll down to our automatic transmission, since that's what we're working on today. And from there, there's going to be two options for the automatic transmission. Um, if your, part, if your vehicle is a four-wheel drive, your part number will start with a 31,000. If it's a two-wheel drive, it'll be 31,020. You'll notice it just says with transfer case. So we'll select that since this is a four-wheel drive. Now if we scroll down, we'll notice that it's going to give us two options. Uh, right here, the 31,000-ZP65 Delta. That's our 2007 model year option. This other one uh, doesn't list a model year, so we're just not going to use it. So this is our calibration number we're going to need since we're unable to pull the old one to check. So then we're going to go to nissan-techinfo.com. Going to select our country region. Then go to the NERS 2534 ECU tab. And at the top, there's a blank programming tab. We want to click that. Then here we're going to put in our calibration number. So we're going to start with our first set of digits, which is 31,000. This just tells NERS that we're working with a, uh, a TCM. And then we're going to enter the last one, so ZP65 Delta. And this is going to give us our flash file. There's two options here. There's a part-time and a non-part-time. It's just two different descriptions for the same. As long as the ECU calibration number is the same as they are, then either one will work. So you'll select it, click Submit, and click Purchase. So once you have your files, wherever you download them to, you're going to extract them. Just do it here on the desktop for now. We'll see that uh, there's a few files here for a blank option. So we're going to take our, our .dat file, our actual program file, and then we're going to take our CSV file that's got our reprogramming data in it. We're going to copy those. We're going to go to our C drive. <clears throat> going to go to program files. Go down here to the Nissan J2534 reprogramming file. Then we're going to go up to application data. Then our reprogramming data. And we're going to paste those two files right here. And that puts our data file and our configuration CSV file there. So now we're going to take the other two files that it sent us, our 
ENC encoding file and our configuration file. Both should start with an A1 in this case. We're going to copy those. Now those are going to go in a different location. Still going to go in the uh, programming files first. Then back down to the Nissan J2534 spot. The Nissan file, DTool file, PDX, then external files, then config, then 107. We're going to paste those here. Now that's where you would put those for a blank programming. So now we're going to go ahead and open up NERS, or NIRS as it's called sometimes. going to read all the instructions here. Make sure you follow all those. We're going to select our VCI. This tells you what VCI you're using there and what firmware. We're going to click programming since it's a blank TCM. And then we're doing the TCM, the transmission. Then from here, if it connects to the vehicle and pulls the old file number, you'll see it's a 31020. Uh, 75934, that's actually, since it's all numbers, that just indicates that it's a blank TCM. And then it recognized through the CSV file and the .dat file, which is the same which is program, so we know we have the right TCM in it. Notice that it gives our vehicle type, engine, federal missions, full drive, part-time. It gave us our file there, so we just click start. So from here, make sure our voltage is nice and stable first. Good. And we'll click go. And then I'll skip through all this. And that is pretty much it except for the key cycle. Once we're done with this, we're going to go through this key cycle procedure just like it says. It'll give us a little readout saying we're done and what the new calibration is. And that is it. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Hope you liked the video and if you did you'll probably like this video or even this video and remember subscribe comment below tell me what you didn't like about it or what kind of videos you'd like to see next and hit the bell icon that way you get a notification every time i make a new video which is almost weekly now so see you next time